Welcome to another lesson. In this lesson we're going to talk about the multiplication and division of algebraic expressions. When we're multiplying or dividing, we have to make sure we multiply both the letters, the literal coefficients, and the numbers, the numerical coefficients. The exponents, we combine them if the bases are the same, only if they're the same. And terms outside the bracket apply to all the terms inside. So anything outside goes with everything inside. We use the FOIL method when we're multiplying binomials, so what that means is if we have a binomial, again binomial means two terms, so if we have something like x plus 2 and x minus 3, we use the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, and last. Basically what it means is everything in the first bracket gets multiplied with everything in the second bracket. The x gets multiplied by the x, the x gets multiplied by the 3. The 2 gets multiplied by the x, and the 2 gets multiplied by the 3. So that's the FOIL method, or double distributive property, there's lots of names for it. Just remember, everything in one bracket gets multiplied with everything in the other bracket. We're going to work through example 3 here. So remember, numbers with numbers, letters, if they're the same base, so same letter, we combine the exponents. So here, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. x and x are the same, so multiplying means we add exponents, so x to the 5. Here's a binomial, and actually it's the same example I wrote up here, so we're going to write x with x gives us x squared x with minus 3 is minus 3x, 2 with x is plus 2x, and 2 with minus 3 is minus 6, which gives us x squared negative 3x plus 2x. Those are like terms from the lesson before. Combine those gives minus x, minus 6. Numbers with numbers again for Example B here, so that gives us 63, x and x go together, so that's x cubed, y and y go together, that's y cubed. E here, this is all one bracket squared, so there's two ways to do this. There's a fast way, which some of you might know, which means square the first term, square the last term, and two times the first times the second, or and we're going quickly here, but this means the same as this. So most students make less mistakes if they think of it this way and do it exactly like we did example D here. Write it and expand x with x, x with 5, 5 with x, 5 with 5. Or you can do it the fast way. It's completely up to you. So x with x, x squared, x with 5 is plus 5x, five, 5 with x is plus 5x, and finally 5 with 5. 25. We need to fully simplify, which means we have like terms. They both have x in them. We're adding now, so x squared 10x plus 25. Let's move our screen a little here. Example C. Here we're going to use the distributive property, which means the part outside gets multiplied with everything inside giving us 15ay cubed, 5 times 3. There's only a here. There's no a with the outside term, so we just keep a. And y squared and y is y cubed. 4 times 5 is 20. a squared, y squared and y squared is y to the fourth. So there's example 3. We'll move to example 4 then. You should really do a lot of this practice on your own. Make sure you can get all these. This would be a good spot, actually, to pause the video. Go work on it on your own. Come back, make sure you get them right. So I'm just going to quickly fill in the answers here without a lot of explanation. In B, make sure you square this bracket first. So we'll write that in two steps. Square it, it becomes 16C squared, S squared, and then we can multiply them together to get the final answer. We're going to bring this piece in 
with both parts to give us the answer, which is 5m cubed n plus 15m squared n. Again, same thing for d and e. We're going to bring in the part outside with each piece inside. So really, I'm just doing this so you have the answers. a4b squared c. So e will stick down here. a squared, b squared, c5. Remember, we're multiplying outside with all three pieces inside. So this is a, b cubed, c5, and a squared, b cubed, c4. And this is the FOIL method, double distribution, expansion, whatever you want to call it, as long as everything gets multiplied together. So 2x squared plus 10x minus x minus 5. Make sure you simplify, put the like terms together. So minus, no, plus 10 minus 1 is plus 9 minus 5. And we'll get these last couple of answers here. 5x squared, 2x, and 5. Nothing to combine this time because the coefficients are all different. Cubed, squared, and power of 1. Here we have binomial and trinomial. Works the same way. x with everything, 1 with everything going to give us more pieces, but that's all. So x cubed, 3x squared, and plus 2x, plus x squared, minus 3x, and plus 2. x cubed is the only x cubed. We have minus 3x squared, plus x squared. So that's minus 2x squared x and x go together, which gives us minus x and plus 2. Last one, we'll do the quick way. So we'll square the first term. That's 4x squared. We'll put the next term, we'll leave a space for, and the last term is square the last. Now, that's not the final answer. That's a very common mistake that you want to make sure to avoid. When you're expanding a binomial, you're getting three terms. The middle term is the opposite, so the opposite of a minus is going to be a plus, of two times the product. So the product of 2x and 5 is 10x, and two times that is 20x. So plus 20x goes in the middle. You can check that by just writing, of course, 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5 and working it out like we did F, G, or H. So we'll stop that lesson there. Lots of examples there. Hopefully you went through and you got them all on your own. That's great. That's good practice. You're going to do this a lot, so make sure you're comfortable with it. And we'll see you in the next lesson.